just I don't know. Of course, like, I don't have a mouth. I only have a mustache. You see, a mustache. Crack here. I know it's it's back again for a second year in a row. Something like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll never do that thing that I did again. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not good. Uh, it's just it's a it's a flashpoint thing. But then again, flashpoint is the last time we got to fly anywhere, right? So uh, beginning of the year. Also a good point. Corona. Yeah. Well, I. I really don't know quite what to uh, what to expect. I mean, I picked big as well. I can't remember how much, but I, I put something on it, and um, and I think we all we all did except yeah. for Freya, right? Freya is the one who's swinging for the fences with the uh, three hundred on Forza. Yeah, trying for the outside pick, but I. Uh, oh, it was a graphic error. Never mind. She picked big. No, no, it's in graphics. Yeah, that's it. Don't let us step away. And listen, I need someone to be lower than me, so whoever I need to throw under the bus, let's just go. <laughs> just make it happen. Yeah, I I really don't. I mean, I, I don't think I don't think Forza had really. I mean, I think I think Big will win, but I, I'm not sure it's going to be that one-sided. I think Forza could do some damage here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think this one is going to be much closer. I still think Big will win, but I think Forza can do some damage. They'll make Big work for it. And yeah. So um, they're still heavily underdogs in this series. There's a chance that they can win, but um, really pretty heavily favored towards Big in this one. So we're going to kick it off right now into the pistol we go. We've already got Tishin rocking the P250, so he will be lethal at wrong long range. And in the meantime, a very default kind of spread here from Forza. 2-1-2, two, two, kind of a catch-all approach in this pistol. Yeah, this is all very sensible right now for, for really for both sides. I mean, I, re I like pistol rounds when people try creative things, but mm -hmm. it's hard to blame people if they, if they don't. I mean, it, it does become very much like a weird lottery to be a part of when you, when you want to play weird pistol rounds. This one, I mean, yeah, they, they actually set up really well for the B-split that's incoming. All they need to do is just stay alive in the middle here on Jerry. He's going to get uh, a little bit attacked by three different people, in fact. He's got some backup in XC power as well, who's all the way over by the car and long, but not really helping out so far. The smoke went down as well, I think, between them. It's a nice shot from Almeza. Suddenly, it's a four on four, and they're going to start to fall back slowly. Kido getting a kill, and um, yeah, it's time to turn it around, nearly getting that one. That would have been the ultimate uh, pickup there. I think that would have probably maybe sealed the round. Now, instead, it's a three on three. Uh, flash over, I like this. Create some room. Searson can get in here and just stick this bomb plant. Already in position here. Keto on short. Not sure if he got spotted, but he definitely got hurt. Doesn't matter. Hits the headshot on Almazer. Drops him. And it's going to be on Exit Power and Flit now. Exit Power with the flank on long. They know he's here, though, so they should not be giving him many shots. Oh, beautiful headshot, though, on Tizian. Two on two. Flit going to be taking the fight with the man Keto holding on Catwalk. And Keto's going to win that duel, so it is all on Exit Power now. And it's not going to be for long. Searson with the headshot and Big picking up the pistol. Yeah, Keto with a quad kill. That's a really good job. I just want to point out, um, because I am just locked in a hotel room most of the time these days, Sembler, along with Indeed. everyone else. But um, Indeed. I actually went through and looked at uh, the last time that Big played uh, on Dust2. And I noticed something. It wasn't quite the same pistol, but it had some similar features the that they were running here. <laughs> got to turn it all the way up. You got to what? I don't think it has a straw in it, Samler. I it's trying so to figure despise. out Samler's water bottle, and it is a so form, of, these water form of technology that Samler cannot figure out. It's just trash. It's garbage. <laughs> Listen, don't blame the water bottle, Samler. And it's also, I mean, you so put, much worse for the environment than any of these disposable water bottles. So just throwing just, that out there, guys. Just put your m mouth up just to the Just throwing water that out there. And then drink it. Oh, no, yeah. but reusable. It works so well. Yeah, right. Okay. Listen, uh, moving on. The point is, in that pistol round that they played last time around, they actually went out long and had sort of a bit of fight, and they fell back and went out middle. And you see that, they, you know, they sort of they were pretending to go out middle for a while, but then they pretty quickly fall back and go catwalk. So to me, it looks like a, a little bit like, at least in some of these pistol rounds, big are pretty happy to, you know, take some casualties and then change their minds pretty quickly in the middle of it. Um, then they don't seem to really commit heavily because they could have just committed that B split if that's what they really, really wanted to do. There was no real reason why they had to fall back. Um, but yeah, I mean, sometimes you catch people off guard when you do that, especially in pistol rounds. You come running up catwalk with three glocks, and they think you're coming out middle. It's yeah. not a bad idea. This round working out uh, pretty damn well for Big at the moment. Flip hoping to get at least one kill on the board, and he'll do just that. Sure. And it's the guy with the Mac-10. So, you know, it's like, fine, fair enough. You killed the guy with the Mac-10. That's all right. He was disposable. And yeah. Was, Always know, get rid of him. He was that frontline guy. Exactly. He was eating all the food. He snored a lot at night. Kind of smelled of onions. You know, nobody's going to be sad seeing him gone. <laughs> what's wrong with onions? <laughs> Actually, not onions. Garlic is the what's garlic the, is the no, real. Garlic is good. It's a real good thing. Onions that, can go away. Garlic can stay. Garlic that, is that. king. Well. Ooh, 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 ooh I like this HE. Uh, did 30 damage. Well, not bad. He has the, a suit in the middle. I like that way more. 
Yeah, this is gonna get rowdy though. You got four, yep, sure enough. Tabson's gonna get caught. There's the spot from Searson. Nicely done, the headshot takes down exit power. And we should be losing, yep, face crack in just a moment there as the bomb gets planted on the B site. Yeah, and Searson's, he's aware that they're gonna come running. We'll try and see if they can jump up. That's a pretty clever little trick instead of just yeah. walking around. But um, we kill with the Mac 10 too, so that's bonus money in the bank. It is, and the more they can get on there, I mean, again, Surely, if the, if they really want to put up the fight that we were talking about earlier here, Force it, Exa Power is going to have to be one of the key players to try and make that happen. Otherwise, I just don't think they're going to get close enough. I want to see that AWP come swinging, although... I mean, Susan is not to be underestimated either. Could be a fun matchup between those two AWPers right now. <laughs> All right, well, I'm excited. It's just that Searson so damn fast. And he's so dialed in right now. He's got that supreme confidence. It feels like the entirety of Big, in fact, have confidence when they're on the server right now, especially against teams that are beneath them. They know that they're better. And so they just kind of plow through. They make the correct calls and they get the job done. I may be cursing the entire series with that, but uh, that's just the read that I get watching Big recently because we've been able to cast them recently. We've watched some of them. And, I mean, it really feels like they're dialed in right now that they just know that they should be the team to win. Was it yesterday where everyone got everything wrong on the, uh, on yeah. the predictions? I'm happy if we keep doing that, you know. It was entertaining. It, Yeah, I think it adds adds something to the to the broadcast, certainly. I'm still wondering how I have any points at all or how we, how you and I we both don't got some. Them. No, 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 but we don't have any points. But, like, we were not as deep as we were before. So... when. All right. I get what you're saying. We're you get not, what I'm saying, right? We're not bankrupt, but we are deep in debt, basically. Very much so. Okay. I appreciate your ability to look at the, on the bright side. I think it's great. Like, that's, that's... It's not bad. Listen, just call me a millennial. We need that right now in this day and age. It's fine. Look on the bright side and all that. They're going to get a bomb plant here, and Forcer are so far away. Big have taken the time. I think Force probably thought this bomb would have been planted already 10 seconds ago. I, if they knew they had another 10 seconds, maybe they would have moved closer and tried to, you know, snipe a kill. But I kind of respect the fact that they're just saying, nah, it's not really worth it. Um, again, retaking B bomb yeah. sites is not fun. That's what we were talking about yesterday in terms of uh, nightmare bomb sites to retake. I always just think train, train really rates pretty highly. It's just a terrible, you know, A site train is just nightmare fuel. Yeah. But in this one, if you have. All of like if you have like three smokes and three molotovs, right? Then you can actually start doing some really creative stuff, right? Because you can smoke up, uh, you know, upper dark from outside of B. You can molotov all of the back plateau and all of the back of the B bomb site, and suddenly, at least you're sort of increasing the odds that you'll have some sort of a favorable fight. But again, like, the amount of grenades and time again, you need time to set it all up. It's, it's just not that easy. It's pushing it, but you know, what else is getting pushed right now? Forza. Yeah. 4-0 lead for Big, and this is going to be the first, first tactical timeout getting called by Forza. Going into a buy round, which I like. Take your time. Discuss a little bit. It's a really bright chandelier thing he's got going on in the background, isn't he's it? He's looking so suave today, Anders. Clean shaven. Look at that. Handsome devil. He had some great uh, facial expressions last time we were watching them. Yeah, getting I'm sure we're going to get more cams from this. Animated in there. I appreciate Everybody. that. Um, Keto right now is at 7-0, and oh, so he hasn't died yet in the game. I mean, it's, again, so early on that it, it doesn't necessarily have to mean anything. Uh, but he's not always the person that we, you know, call out. We're always talking about, like, ta you know, Santaras and Tabs and sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's a great luxury sometimes when you have some of your, you know, less highlight players suddenly come up and have, like, a, you know, a big starting game. Especially, I think, early on in best of threes, it's just so nice to have that luxury. Um, and the rest of the team can play their way in behind it, so... It's not so bad. Searson. Yeah, Jerry walking into that. And so does Face Crack. I mean, they had a lot of trust in the, in that Molotov Semler. Just a lot of it. Yeah. And it was an imperfect one. And it didn't it's do so anything. so difficult. So difficult to get that one down sometimes. It's timing. You got to get, you got to be just impeccable with it. And it just does not work. Also, I mean, Al, Al Mazer's got to be just annoyed right now. You're getting dinked with a AK across the map. At the very beginning, 2 HP starting the round. It's not mm. great. Well, bomb's going to get planted on the A site, and big just like that, based off of individual play, essentially. Searson just dominating utterly over at long. I, I imagine even big at this point in time, when when they went around like this, they just sort of shrug and say, oh, yeah, cool. cool. Like, Sweet. If, if, we, you know, if we don't even have to 
you know, show or flex or anything. Like, we don't have to dig into any tactics. We can just sort of win mm -hmm. win that fight, then fair play. We'll just keep doing that. Is it the same for you to me for when it comes to big? It's like, yes, tactics, but also to me it just feels like these guys are just rock solid in fundamentals. Like, they've just got their systems figured out. There we go. Tapson getting on the board with three. I was wow. saying that he was getting a little bit quiet over there. He was a zero and three about ten seconds ago, and now, boom, triple kill, takes over B-side single-handedly. Yeah, I mean, I I think this big team is really solid. I I agree. I mean, it, it and we always we do like highlighting the tactics and 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 it's great. And there are definitely are some games and especially against some opponents where, you know, you do need to have that depth. But you know, sometimes you don't actually need to. And then you know, it's important to be able to play a slightly more shallow version of the game, perhaps. But again, if you could do it solidly and you win, then who really cares? Okay. So See, he knows. This he time knows. To That's the thing with that one Molotov. It going down tells him. I mean, just he gets the information right. One guy in pit. He already knows that somebody's in pit from from just that smoke. So it's a, for just that Molly. So him being there is already information gained in terms of the setup from uh, Forza, which is pretty cool to see. I mean, it's just all the details, little details like that. That was the kind of Molotov they wish they could have thrown earlier, right? Mm -hmm. it was, yeah, I don't know. a bit of a shame. Tizian, yeah, trying to spray through, hoping someone would be in the corner, but that is not the case right now. Catwalk and A pretty much undefended right now, although, I mean, they have some people looking in for middle. They're really well set up for long and, and B splits at the moment, not so much for Catwalk. So we'll see if Big can figure it out. They have about a minute left. Centaurus looks like he's going to be smoking long. Let's see if that's going to, you know, draw anyone back or keep them out here just to the corner. And actually, Kido just pushing out. There are some flashbangs going in the air above him. He misses the first chance there, goes for the swing against Face Crack, and will take him down. That's uh, that's pretty cool. It could have, uh, I think, maybe even been a little bit more dangerous there, but somehow it works out. Four versus three, 40 seconds. They got the bomb out on long and pushing into upper dark is Almeza. So soon, Forcer are going to know everything that's coming. Big need to find a way through. Mm, there's XC Power chiming in, though. Takes down Searson. Should have the follow-up, but Kato takes his head off. Now Jerry's flank is exposed, and he is not a happy guy. It's going to make life very interesting for him as this smoke clears. He's trying to take advantage of it, and it works. Yeah. Just a little bit. That little edge is just enough for him to get that shot on Santeras. And Keto doesn't work for him, unfortunately. He gets spotted just standing out uh, with his thumb. Yeah, standing inside the smoke, I mean, still a super powerful play. Yeah. Um, We're still seeing guys abuse it yeah. nonstop. And th so they should. I mean, it's a mechanic. It's a part of it. It's a part of it right now, so... That was a nice shot. Yeah, Jerry. That's the crazy thing. Up. You saw how, like, from his perspective, he could see him clear as day. Yeah, there but is. From just the other side, you just couldn't see him at all until the last second. There is just a little bit of a difference, right? In yeah, when that clears up. So, um. Oh, Searson out the middle. First round on the board for Forza, but yeah, then. Oh no, that's a freebie, and he does actually connect, but that needed to be a kill. What? I don't know. Sometimes the, those easy shots just are the hardest, aren't they, for whatever reason? Oh, man, that's so frustrating. Oh, and there's a second guy here waiting. Nice trade from Tapson. And so now it's firmly split in two. Forza, two players on A, two players on B. Big going to gather up. It's about to get real fun here on Catwalk. Face crack going to be able to back off in the nick of time, but they know they've tagged the guy here. But now Big have killed the guy on B. So what's better, right? A tag or a kill? I think it's going to be a kill. Searson certainly making up for uh, earlier. If you just pretend to count face crack as a Searson kill, he's already up at a triple in this round, and there's nothing they can really do. I mean, there's no point in them even pretending like they're moving this way. Keep the ops alive, especially yeah, on exit power there. Keep that one alive, and then face crack will just have to try and bodyguard him the best they can. Clever boost in here from uh, from Dude. Tizian. That would have happened really early on. Yeah, it did, didn't it? it? He's been here the entire round. Yeah. Does he finally... He, hear, he hears the footsteps. He knows that they're there. Does I mean, he lose patience? Does he throw this away? It's better if... Surely it's better if he just waits and his teammates show up on the other side to help. I mean, they have a lot of grenades here. They could definitely do something with that. Let's see. Face crack. Yeah, so Molotov in the corner. Again, using the grenades thing makes so much sense. And he's just a bullet away from death race crack, so he's going to have to be really quick, even if he had a better angle there. Now they're going to go for it. Yeah, they know that orb is left. It actually makes so much sense. They line up, but it's not going to be a two-for-one. XC Power might be in a lot of trouble, and it will be downed in the end by Tizzy, and so great focus. Six to one in favor of Big. Isn't that more demoralizing, too? Because Tizian dropping down, shows he shows himself. So 
the guy he's shooting in the face realizes, yeah, that guy's been sitting there this entire round. What the hell happened with that bullet? Can we see that again, slow mo? Just disappeared in it. What the hell? He, did he shoot like through the crook of his arm or something? It's not unlikely. That is so close. Well, well. They have not quite the money you would want on the forces side. I mean, I'm sure they could they could probably just force it up if they really wanted to. But, I, but I'd say half by makes more sense at this point in time. And uh, Big are looking like a way, way more powerful team at the moment. They're just looking like a powerhouse right now. Yep. And again, I haven't even really seen Big be forced to do anything that, you know, is is really interesting from sort of a T-side T tactical perspective, right? Uh, yeah, okay. They're just, they're just sort of feeling, they're just doing whatever they want right now. I feel like, like this is what you can get when you just feel supremely confident in your ability to outfrag your opponents. Like they're hitting all their shots, they're winning all their duels, and so it's like they'll kill a guy here, and then they wrap around, I would kill a guy here, cool, now that we know that... It's like, wherever they go, they're just, they're winning, right? Okay. Do we get the patience? This is gonna get real scary. There it is, and he is alone as well. Better go fast. Yeah, this is just sloppy stuff from Big. They're yeah, not quite getting the fight that they want right now, and there's no one pushing middle, so all of the focus is just on these two people right now. A little bit of a giveaway, maybe. Flit trying to see if he can hunt someone down. Still a three on three, but they've already given away that one rifle. Now hiding inside of the smoke is going to be face cracking. Again, we've already seen how that can work out. He's just waiting for it to fade, trying to shoot over, but Jerry also goes down. Searson is still just making moves all over the place. A big double for him in the round, and he's going to take the long way back. They know where face crack is. He's already fired that deagle, so yeah, it's smart for Searson not to rotate down through lower dark, but just go all the way around. Already seen it. Trying to shoulder beak, uh, but not going to work out at all. So nice recovery from, uh, from Big, even though they did, you know, Left the door open in that round for Forza, maybe. That was some nice awareness from him to jiggle that corner, though. I thought he was just going to run around with his knife and just be completely oblivious, but uh, stopped, baited. And, well, this could not have gotten any closer for Big. They were one second off of committing to that bomb site with the bomb. And uh, had, uh, I believe it was Tapson who was carrying it, you know, had he gone down, that would have been it. Big would have been super-duper screwed. And instead, uh, it is a seventh round on the board for Big. Seven to one on the T side of Dust2, looking better and better for big. Yeah, it's a very, very good start. A double up on the CT side. We'll see if that is what makes a difference. It's a, uh, not an uncommon go-to. Oh, and he's going to run him down. You heard him jumping back and forth. Face crack. He was the one that got killed by that same position last time, so mm -hmm. he's going to be thinking, man, they're, they're doing that every time. And... Took me apparently a little while to figure that out. A flashbang here will ruin XC Power's day, and it came in just as I was saying it. Easy trade, absolutely worth it. Got the collat as well. Poor guy. Gets Keto, and he gets Tabson. Searson's going to annihilate Jerry. He's going to annihilate everyone right now. He's 10 and 2. All right. Well, I mean. Those were, the, I think that showed the power of that position right there. If you're going to be playing that game where you're sort of jumping back and forth and assuming no one is there, that's a quick way to catch someone. Mm. There is another fun way to, to use that position that people don't really do, but um, but I tried to advocate it at some point where you, you know, if the CT smoked that position, you can actually, you can push two people up there and one can stand on top of the other and you can look all the way over the door and the smoke and everything. Ugh, it's really fun. nasty. I, at one moment, convinced Astralis to do it, and they did it, and it worked, and then they stopped doing it forever. What? <laughs> but maybe it can come back? Why do they stop doing it forever? Is it just because now that they've used it once, it's just going to be anti-stratted, and I've, so... I have no idea. Can I didn't use it again. I didn't ask for a, I did not ask for a follow up. You but did not uh, ask for an explanation. No. Listen, guys, I went through all this work finding this stuff for you guys, and uh, you're not using it. So. I mean, I wasn't even planning specifically on them. I was just. I listen. I just like to talk about these things to whoever is unfortunate enough to be caught in a you know in a room with me at, at a given point in time. So this time it was just a Charles, but it's happened to a bunch of people. Sure, there are horror stories out there in the pro community. Listen, whatever you do, just don't talk to Alice about these things because he's not going to let it go. Tenth round. Yes. And what have they really got to work with here? I like... I mean, the double push into catwalk is fine. I think that's a, that's a that's a nice. Double. It's not super aggressive, but it is definitely better than just standing all the way back. 
They've let go of long, which is is acceptable again. Oh, but the run boost. Oh, <laughs> face crack. He's gonna feel so outplayed. He's probably thinking, listen, it's fine. All they'll do is shoulder peek, and I can just, I can, I can make it back. Really cool stuff. Tizian taking down Exa Power. Keto committing to the fight. Maybe a little bit too much. They do have smokes, but again, I think they were just trying to be a little bit overwhelming in that push. Jerry, man, this is going to have to be a hero effort for this to even be close to working out. It's a good shot on Tizian. Sticking around long enough, and now up on the site, though, Tabson trying to hunt him down, and looks like he's going to have a really good angle on him. So still a 2 on 3 with plenty of time. Oh, he plants safe. That's so unfortunate for Flit. But he's got a chance here. This boost, so unconventional, might work wonderfully. Oh, he gets spotted. There's the flash. At least it's a trade, one for one, but it's still a 1v2. Searson at long with the AWP just makes this so difficult for Almazer. And he may, I mean, I would have gone for it. Yeah, at this point, just YOLO, right? You got to you gotta get in there, die honorably. Also, the bomb is only just planted, right? I I, I kind of maybe maybe think Searson's already fallen all the way back in pit. He doesn't have a smoke, so he realizes he had to try and defuse against the AWP. No kid pit. either, yeah. Yeah, so that might be the, the calculation. But Searson was close, so it, I don't know. Are it's you not entertained, though, Anders? Yeah, I, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm very impressed. Here. We're just like, actually, we're giving him the thumbs down right now. Yeah. But he's going to live another round. This is this is what I'm entertained by. Stylish. That's definitely an oh shit moment. <laughs> <laughs> you like, oh. Uh, well, nine to one, big on the T side, just looking absolutely fantastic. And even when it starts to feel like it's slipping, like they're starting to to let their feet off the gas, to lose their they lose their focus big, they do bring it back. You know, beginning of that round, they're horsing around. But then eventually, in the round, they get control back. They start hitting their shots again, and they just continue the beating. Nice attempt to try and get aggressive with the orb there from Exit Power, and he actually did see uh, Sirson there. That would have been a, such a, a cool snipe if he could have just got that and got away. Jerry stuck around for a trade. Probably not quite worth it on the CT side there. But again, I think Forcer are sort of... They're just trying to figure out how could we do anything to make them feel uncomfortable. They're going to go for the run boost again out long, and this time there's not an immediate target, although Tapson's coming in from the other side, so that FAMAS up there is going to start to feel really, really lonesome. Grenade in on the one side. They know that he's up there. Not sure if they've seen him yet, but they have a really strong suspicion anyway. Under a minute, and they're still just controlling the catwalk with tabs, and it's going to be Tizian to finally take down face crack, and almost hitting him with that Molotov. <gasps> oh, it's just showing he's got the clock out, and he's not going to win the fight. Almost a little bit strange there, but still a 2-1-2 two now. I'm loving this. This is just so crazy. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen next, Anders. But the gun barrel sticking out of the smoke just barely. I thought he was going to throw that Molotov in that dude's face. To be fair. Yeah, that's what it looked like. <laughs> it looked like he was just going to just <laughs> nail him. But oh. it's XE Power finding the shot on Tabson. Tizian 1v2. And what a shot from Almazer. Second round on the board for Forza. And that's well, not that bad. I mean, considering the positions they were in, it did take them a while to find face crack up there. So I guess, you know, he didn't do a, he didn't do a lot, but he did stay alive long enough that some backup could come in. Sometimes that's enough, right? Yeah, I mean, it can make a difference. They've so much money on big, though. It's really outrageous. Forza. Yeah, second round, finally. This is, um, you just feel how supremely confident big are. That's a round where they kind of let the, let things go again, started horsing around a little bit. You got to tell them, guys, pump the brakes. Do not let Forza get back into this in any meaningful way. They will still hit shots if given the chance. Smoke there going a little what bit wild. Sirson just, I mean, you've got to give it to him. Someone made the call, Sirson, why don't you go into B and, and find a kill? And he's like, yeah, but this, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll go. Doesn't matter how much fire there is on the ground, I'll just keep going. Oh, the timing. I thought Jerry was going to push that door. Not going to happen. Dude, this is unreal. It doesn't spread on him. Get out of here. Yeah, it doesn't quite work out. Those... Those Molotov spreads are sometimes really hard to uh, account for. The main problem here is that the bomb is the one trying to go across. Well, never mind. I guess if Zantaris just shoots your face off. <laughs> I thought I thought I saw a glimmer of hope there, Anders. I thought I saw a way for Forza to ruin this round for Big. If they kill Zantaris, he's carrying the bomb. Bomb stuck in mid. It's like, sure, you got the bomb site, Big, but hey, we've got the bomb. And, um, and Zantaris is just slapping people. 
And down in pit, face crack, you know, his, his other teammates are over in B saving their rifles. And he's like, please, guys, I'm on the radio calling for backup. Flashbangs actually <laughs> save, at least for a second, save face crack, but not much longer than that. All right. Now they're out hunting again, and there's really no reason that Big shouldn't be. Again, they have so much money and, and the confidence to go with it, and it's a five on two. Any rifle that you take away right now is going to be so dead. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. The rest might be far enough away that they're like, all right, whatever. Still, 10 rounds for Big. They are playing an outrageous game at the moment. Tabson's overtaken everyone, weirdly, uh, without anyone noticing even, at 12 to 7 now. He, uh, he just came alive with that triple, didn't he? Yeah, that's all he needed. The collat. Mm, well, countdown has begun. We're going to get into the thick of things here in a moment. And, uh, really, uh, yeah, fours are just uh, really just struggling. It feels perhaps a little bit too, uh, I don't want to say too default here from Forza, but big don't really feel, doesn't feel like big are getting challenged in any way here. No, not really at the moment. I mean, they've tried that catwalk, you know, aggression a little bit. And sometimes they've been pushing into upper dark, like, very late in a round if Pig haven't been showing any presence. And th those are decent signs, but it's not... It, it doesn't go deeper than that, it seems, at the moment. Yeah, a little boost here. I mean, these little tricks really matter. Again, it's the first time we've seen this kind of a boost coming out so far on Dust2 here, so... If you can snipe a kill away, maybe, like, you get the four and five, it's going to be a little bit better. There we go. Taking down Santeros. They are going to go for the bombsite, but this is okay. You can absolutely play retake on the eight bombsite here and just, you know, especially in the four and five, this is absolutely acceptable at the moment. Sniping off a kill is actually power as well. Yeah, I would say this is a, a great start to the round for Forza right now. It's going to be so insanely difficult for uh, Big to hold this. Yeah. Two-man advantage. Smoke is down. Bomb has been picked up by Ta or bomb uh, op has been picked up by Tamson, and he's just waiting for the chance. Spots the man getting the plateau. And X power gonna hit that shot. Tamson a little bit too excited there. Doesn't slow down enough. There's the first shot though. Well done. But Tishin's gonna get flanked fully, and it's all on Keto, and it's just not gonna be enough. We will have Forza collecting a third round in this half. Yeah, so, I mean, nice calm retake. They weren't stressed out. They kind of knew what the plan was. I mean, those are some those are some fundamental, I would say, things coming out here from the CT side. But it's good to see that they have that to fall back on. Once they knew they had that f three on five, there's no re reason really to to go crazy. So, indeed, job well done. Going into the 14th round, got the double up set up back at it again, and we'll see if bigger feeling pressure to try something new and fun. That, not that they haven't been doing that at all, but I don't know. Some of the strategies for Big that when, whenever they've wanted to go for them, some of the little tricks even, have just been really cool. Keto not going to partake in this round. He's already dead. Hmm. Double up. Now we're seeing the uh, the aggression coming in here from Forza. Starting to show a little bit of fight. It's going to catch Big off guard. Big do manage to bring it back to a three on three. All three on catwalk now for Big. It's a very close here, Exit Power. If he jumps up now, he might be able to catch him in the bay in the back. Set up. They have no idea, and the timing is going to work out that he is going to be able to round it. And yes, he does manage to pick up one kill. Missed oh. the follow-up though. Yeah, it's just on the other side. This guy should be really important. Molotov is in there, he's gonna challenge it. Great move from Exit Power. That is so smart. Tamsin now. Bomb is out there on Catwalk. He's got a minute, but still. One versus two. They are kind of low on health. We'll see. Yeah, he's still not sure if anyone's out there. He's got time to look for the kills here. Let's see what he wants to do. Just trading Molotovs left and right at the moment. Picks up another one. Okay, well. I All guess. the Molotovs. And there's no way for him to be sure. He's just going to have to pick up the bomb and another Molotov. All right. Really... He really wants to make sure. It's, it, I mean, it, it does make sense if someone had been in that little corner. Oh, he's going to flash and jump down, and that is him trying to just, you know, use surprise as, as a real weapon in that one. Didn't uh, work out, but again, you've got to appreciate it. What a it. bad lad. Yeah. What a play. I really like that. That was sick. And this was just some aggression, yeah, getting shown here. Uh, all over the place. This was uh, 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 the round of ops, essentially, although that... Uh, that flash kind of gave it away. Flit was ready, turned away. 
and managed to get that kill. So we're going into the 15th round. Forza oh, have managed dear. to chain two rounds in a row, but Searson takes out Almazer at the beginning already. Headshot through the smoke, through the wall. That is very hard to deal with. Actually, that's, that's just point flipping. There's nothing you can do about it. Almost getting caught there, but the revenge for Tamsin to take down Jerry. Oh, and he just pre-fires it. Oh, he walked right into it. That bullet was already airborne when he actually turned the corner. That is absolutely disgusting to see. He's seen two. Never mind. The other guy's dead. They know where the last one is. He's, da he's down in CT, so it's over. Yeah. Yes, and Terry's already taken over the B-bomb site. So Big not giving a lot away in this first half at all. Just a, a very confident team. Really cool Counter-Strike to be watching here. Face Crack's going to be going down at the end of it. It will be 11-4 in favor of Big. And that is guess, very, very dominant. They did not look like they had any doubt at all of themselves. Tabs in at 16-9 uh, and nine, and Searson right behind at 12-7. and seven. Man, what an amazing first half. We'll see how the second one goes when we come back after the break. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Second half is coming up here, and it's between Forcer and Big on Dust 2. A best of three that right now, uh, I mean, is tilting in favor of Big, at least for the first map. Second one would be Inferno. But yeah, they're playing an incredible game right now on the Big side. And Tabson, top fragging, pushing into the middle on the pistol round here on the CT side. But Forcer have at least noticed. They've realized, oh, he's going to try and body block it? Yeah, Tabson, go for it. Oh, I love it. Don't know how much of a difference that actually made, but I still think it's a cool idea. I'm gonna stand on top of it. Oh, oh no. Has he been spotted? Oh my god, that flash. What is going on? That that needed to be <laughs> they needed to be all of them dead. They still might be, but Tabson is the one who should have had it. He had the perfect lineup for it. Yeah, the flashbang <laughs> was amazing. And ultimately, Forcer. And they knew something was up in the middle. I don't think they realized it was gonna be four out of five members fighting in there for big. Leaving Jerry alone in a one versus four with a bomb up on catwalk and Really no chance to make this work. In fact, he's going to be executed by Kido, who got a triple in this round. He got a quad kill in the pistol on the T side, so <sighs> that's not bad. Is this one of those games where Forza just uninstall? You know? It's like you get beat so badly. You just, you just can't take it. You're just like, oh, okay, that's the gap. Listen, got the it. problem with doing that out of rage now with Counter-Strike is it's become a kind of a sizable game over the years, so it'll take you a while to reinstall it again. Something. You can't just, you know. <laughs> 
No, no, that's it. It's just it's like that's not that's that's the gap. The, the big, you know, one of the top teams in the world, uh, literally just charging mid on you in a pistol round. It's a tough one. I think it's amazing. I mean, again. You contrast that with how the pistol round was played on the other side, right? Where it's much more sort of default, like let's just spread out and all the rest of it. But I think that's what pistol rounds are for, you know. Just that's where you have some room to get a little bit creative and do some fun things. Oh yeah, especially when you're in the lead, 11-4, 12-4 now on the board for big on the CT side. Bond up with SMGs. They've got the guns. Uh, they're looking to make the money. Yeah, Tizzy and holding out here with the with the MP9. If they turn the corner, they don't have any armor at all, so they should get chewed up pretty quickly. Same is true, unfortunately, for them if they go towards tabs into the catwalk. Just got a flashbang. He's going to be flashed in. He does actually get tagged in the face right away, but now they're all standing on top of each other. Running out of bullets, though, and the USP won't quite do the trick, so I mean, they're still not going to do anything in this round, but we do like seeing those multi-spray downs, and tabs and sort of got a little bit stuck. I like just seeing when you buy MP9s, the guys with MP9s get the kills and anti ecos. Listen, I'm telling you, that's why people need to buy the Bison. Tabson would have been fine with the Bison. Mm, he he would have been fine with the Bison. Kept right. shooting for another hour. You're right. You're right. You're right. A billion bullets. Uh, there's nothing that annoys me more than eco rounds where the team that's you know on the anti eco, it's like the guy with the M4 is getting all the kills, <laughs> and the three guys with the MP9s just look at him like, bruh, <laughs> why? Why you gotta do that? The whole point of SMGs is to make money. That is exactly what we want them for. Oh. The yeah, well, Tantaris maybe especially pushing forward. Deep grenade. It's going to chase him down. <laughs> <laughs> we actually got that camera angle just as he fell. Who is the genius observer Ooh. who managed to do that? Pretty sure his name is Prius. Well, we've got a couple of different ones, don't we, these days? So I think. Yes, yes, that's right. He is such a baller. It's uh, the man never stops. Sanders. Talk about work ethic. Like Prius is a god. Tamsin. He's going to get caught there. So that's a little bit awkward. Three on three into a two on three. And both down the middle and sneaking into the B bomb side. Almost is exit power. And if he makes it, for, there's a smoke there. So I guess he can't stop. But if he goes and clears out B, that should be a good position to win the round from here from Force's point of view. Santara is ready and waiting and still not going to win the fight. Looked like that could have been a pretty clean headshot. Not to be so. And Kido spotted in the middle. Now it's a strange round. Bomb is in B, the other teammates in A. Keto somewhere in the middle. Yeah, he's expecting it fully to be A, of course. How else could he? You know, what else could he think? The only other guy he's seen is over here, but the bomb has been planted, and little do they know. Well, that's just all on big. You know, that's the thing when you're horsing around, having a good time. Hey, let's just push everybody everywhere and take all the fights, because, you know, we're just going to crush these guys anyways, right? Now you're letting Forza have a round of the board, guys. You're allowing Forza to get hope. To feel hope. Maybe that's all part of the plan for Big, though. Maybe they are just that cruel. Yeah, I think um, I think at this point they just want to close it out and get to that next round. Like the next map right away. Double it's grenade out long, but one of them, as you can tell, catches the barrel. And yeah, even if they landed a double nade, it looks like they weren't all stacked on top of each other. So I don't think it would have actually taken the whole team down or anything. So looks like, I mean, slight bit of breathing space for Forza. Maybe they could get this round if they could win the next one too. I mean, there is a chance. It would be, it would be very strange to see Big not, you know, put up, uh, you know, numbers on the second half. You'd have to assume that they would. Now actually Sisson chasing them down. All right. What a shame. X Power going to be blocking them off. Yes, there's the one. And that's that's exactly what you get. There's only one X God. So I was going to go and pick that up. So, I mean, slightly expensive round. I think I think Forza just need to keep winning rounds. You know, it's obviously better if they keep making money and all the rest of it, but just don't lose any silly rounds here. It's going to be 6 to 13. Then, I mean, this upcoming round, especially if this rifle is saved, they're going to have a pretty good buy on the big side. Then at that point, yeah, if you win the next one too from four sides, it's, it's within the realm of possibilities. But I think it still would have to, it would have to be big playing much worse on the second half than they did on the first half, basically. And I, yeah, and I think that last round was just a kind of, you know, a gimme 
a freebie given out by Big. They're just being nice because uh, in normal times, Big aren't pushing literally everywhere across the map, right? So if they decide to uh, kind of take uh, take it a little bit more seriously here, Big, they can get it done in three rounds and just end this. So let's see. Uh, we will get that AWP in play now here for Big. It should be a full buy across the board. Double AWP, in fact. So I like that. Dust 2 plays itself, uh, uh, offers that as an option. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, it, again, it's, it is just a, a popular choice. Across a very long stretch of time. 20th round, and we're just going to be seeing a, a Molotov not quite in. I want, again... Smoke coming in, but this time from Catwalk instead, so that's pretty cool to see. It will hold them back. Wonder if also if they really wanted to go for it. It looked like they actually could have maybe gone. That Molotov didn't look like it was covering that much. Grenade going to land not quite on top. He actually fell back. Thought maybe was going to catch Flit there, but doesn't seem to be the case. So they're holding B, holding middle, long, not that well defended, but but you, you're going to have advanced notice at least. I mean, that's... If you can't have all the people there, at least have the information early on if there's a push. That's that's not so bad. Wait, Anders, am I mistaken, or did Tamsin drop in a CT and buy another nade after throwing that smoke? I don't know if he did. Because he's got two flashes, an HE and an incendiary. It's possible. That would be so sick. Yeah. I Listen, I, you might be right. Maybe someone could go investigate. That would be so cool. Just, you know, I mean, yeah, details. But details like that, I mean, that's styling at that point. Because otherwise, I mean, yeah, taps in. Okay, fine, fair enough. You don't want to smoke, but Molly H, you just want all the fun stuff. That but could definitely be. That is really cool. Either that or it would have been Susan or running back. To, I don't know who, sm who that smoke initially. But yeah, that could be. Maybe it's possible. 30 seconds and they're coming out middle and it's a B-split as you can tell. Keto going to take care of one. Only one into upper dark. So again, if they can just kill that guy in upper dark, at least they're going to have a bit of a chance here. None of that is going to be possible. Keto and Santara are both going down at the same time. And yeah, they're just going to immediately call the save, which they definitely should. That's a nice round. And it was, it was played a little bit late, but not so late that Forza didn't have a chance to recover. So like everything about that. Yeah, Forza starting to show some life here. Big also. A little bit of hesitation uh, ends up costing them. Uh, even with uh, the fancy stuff there. Super cool to see. Tijan, he does get rewarded in the end for uh, some of his cheekiness. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. That was a sick one. Yeah, don't don't give him too much here. It's fine if you want to go and pick up the orb. I mean, you're going to have two on the T side anyway then, but don't be giving him too many kills at the moment. It's such a shame because he can't know that nobody else is there, right? But he could just go and pick up an AK and an AWP. So yeah. has to play it safe, though. Hold on to what you have, right? Yeah, it's definitely the smart move. One bird in the hand worth two on the wing. They they do say that, don't they? Although no one is listening any longer, but yeah, <laughs> theoretically. Um, 13 to 7. It's a six-round gap. And I mean, just... You could think about this as well. Mm. When big are on the T side and they're just running over them, they are also the ones taking all the initiative. Whereas now, and again, because Dust2 is, is this strange map where CT side aggression is just not so easy to do. Um, yeah, they, they might be stuck a little bit more just waiting to sort of see what's coming. Sure. Uh, again, I'm sure on another map, if it was Mirage or even Inferno up next, I mean, Inferno isn't even the best map for it, but even on Inferno, you could do, I think you still probably do a little bit more than on Dust2. Mm hmm. So, maybe big. I mean, big have shown. They showed a lot of tricks on the T side. Have they got any for the CT side? Any, any, you know, quirky things? Going to be going for a quick boost up catwalk with Tabson on the M4, but he's not going to go all the way. And so far, no real tricks here with the rifles that they've saved. Just going to be grouping up a little bit in middle. Hmm. For whatever reason, for a second there, I thought he was actually juggling an AK and an AWP. That would have been super stylish. Keto, though, going to be able to collect one nice flash setup. They should go on long, like, right now. I I feel like th the fact that they killed one guy up in Upper Dark, I mean, all you're doing when you're waiting is letting them get closer and closer and closer. Did he body block that second smoke? I think he did. Holy smokes. There's a chance. There's a gap. Full flash, though, and it is Tishin. Got to be able to pick up one, two, in fact. And it's now a sexy situation here for Big. Two-man advantage. 
Bomb not yet down. Minute on the clock. Force have a little bit of room to maneuver with here, but the smokes have cleared, and now they need to get it done the hard way. They have to hit shots. Yeah, and now they're getting flanked as well. Huge round coming in. Nice triple from Keto. And I think Force, I mean, the problem is you really only have two choices, right? Either you go long, and then I sort of feel like going right away as opposed to waiting is probably the better choice. If you don't want to go long anymore and you feel like, oh, wait, we lost map control on that side, you're now in for tra retracking the whole map, checking every corner for any CTs that might be lurking. It's going to take such a long time, even with a minute. I mean, that's not going to feel that great. So, Forza, yeah, that one kill in Upper Dark, I mean, in just in terms of the round, it, it, it should be not that significant, but then because that's the only, you know, other part of the map they control is long at that point in time, and they just, you know, they're just stuck out there. And they did wait maybe a little bit longer than was necessary. But yeah, it did look like there was a gap in the smoke, and if that was from a body block, like you said, that's actually very cool. I didn't catch that, but it, I would love to see a replay of that if, that's, if that was the case, because that is, that's impressive. Hard to hard to do in the middle of a round. Yeah, just a nice, nice little gap. I mean, that's why you have to commit those two smokes. Even a slight gap, you see how fast these guys are. They will get you through that smoke. And so, nice little play there, big. That puts them up on 14 rounds now on the CT side, 14 to seven. Looking very good right now for big and uh, double AWP back in play here for big, and this time they are expecting it to be a long play coming in big. And in the meantime, it's about to get real spicy in mid. Tapson, he's going to hold the line. Tech 9 to lead the way. There's the angle. Picks up one. Falls back. Needs to hear the footsteps, though. Yep, he realizes he is not alone. And, uh, oh, he was expecting the flash from his teammate to help him out. That's so unfortunate for Tapson. Just yeah. didn't go quite far enough. And, uh, and uh, he obviously, he, you know, I think even if he had been flashed there, uh, face crack, it, I don't think it would have mattered anyway. He was obviously just, you know, going to pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. So he just wanted to walk right into it. But and it's still a cool idea. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a nice, nice setup for big. This time they were just a little bit too far forward. So one for one trade. And we'll see. Falling back from long. So they're two on A. Don't think it's going to help them yet if this B push actually comes through. And they don't have any grenades left really on big either. So this is, I think this is just all about yeah, winning the initial battle here with the with the AWP. He has to get a kill and stay alive. And then Centaurus has to come back in. But if, if any one of them go down, it's I don't think there's any retake that's going to be be happening here. Hedo immediately falling back. Yeah, I think now they know. They see the smokes going down towards the door as well. Turning around. Nice shot from Kido. Santaris there to help out. Nearly a two for one. But Santaris will get the other one. And he walks right into the shot. A beautiful triple kill here for Santaris. Will land a big at 15 rounds. Super clean as well. It's when you get those kind of textbook scenarios. You see the smokes coming in. You know the flash timings. And let's see. This is Tabson. Who, yeah. Flash went off, yeah, the timing was just barely off, but he wouldn't have been blinded either in, in any case. So a little bit unfortunate there for Tapson, but still Tapson, I mean, comfortably sitting at 19 kills after a very cold start. <laughs> oh, Nicely done, X-Power. Keto's going to get one, though, and Tapson brings it back. And now the big brother's showing up. You got a scout, I've got an op. Uh, Keto actually needs to hit shots first, though. I mean, realistically, he just needs to stop fighting in the middle, right? <laughs> Absolutely no reason to. He will get the kill, but again, this is this is definitely just a, a display of confidence and force. Triple kill on Keto, mm. up at 23 right now. So topping the scoreboard, maybe that's just what he wanted. Exit power alone in spawn. There's nothing to do. They could they probably knife him if they were really feeling it. They, but I think that's possible at this point in time. He's fighting at range. It'll be Tizian to take him down. 16 to 7 at the end of the map in favor of Big, which means we are going to head to Inferno next. But what a performance out of them. They really looked quite uh, brilliant on this map. And Forza looked like they never really quite warmed up either. I mean, Jerry and Flit had some kills and uh, and maybe uh, maybe extra power too. But not the whole team quite like we would want. So, yeah, rough start here to the best of three for Forza for sure. Yeah. Uh, this is just phenomenal stuff from Big. It's what we expect from the favorite in the group. They are just mauling Forza. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we will hear what the analysts have to say about this map and the next.